Hi and welcome to another Frivolous episode. Today I'm bringing you another edition of my Lisa Eldridge lipstick challenge, I think that's what I called it. And today we're featuring Skyscraper Rose. This is a gorgeous, a very bold, a very, very bold, bright fuchsia pink. Not body pink, but very pink nonetheless. So first things first, I already have my foundation on and I'm going to apply the lipstick. I decided to go with the stain to start off with and I just applied a light layer of the product uh, onto the lips, just blotted it and moved it around with a, uh, with a brush and basically that's what I did and I kept it stronger on the inner rim to make that lollipop kind of look that we see a lot from Japanese and South Korean um, imagery and trends so that's what I'm going for. For now, if I decide I want to go bolder with the lip, I will do that later. So the plan now is to go a bit mixologist on myself. And I'm gonna take, uh, this is Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for the Superstar Youth Glow, whatever, yeah. This is number four medium. And uh, I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand. There it is. And this is a, quite strong highlighter and I'm gonna take a little bit of, of the lipstick and also apply it onto my hand and I'm going to mix these two up and hopefully I'll create a super glossy um, blushing blusher blushery stain that's the plan so this is how it looks I'm going to start applying it. I don't mind using this little brush and I'll then see what I need more. Start slowly. I think you can see it. Yeah, uh, on display. And I'm applying it with the tiniest brush I know. Maybe I could have gone with a bigger brush, but I was afraid. So I prefer to apply it like this. Because this is really creamy, this is not going to set. So I can go now with my blush brush and kind of clean off the edges. And today I'm bringing um, the blush quite high up, which is not my usual uh, technique or where I usually place it. I like to keep it on, on the cheek, um, but today I'm bringing it a bit Hi, I really love this high shine on the cheeks and I find it's really playful and especially with this kind of colors but you can do this mixology with any lipstick you have just make sure you don't rub the lipstick directly on the other product rub it on the side rub it and then mix it with a brush so that you don't screw up your lipstick and mix the products I'm going to make it stronger on the cheek. I'm just <laughs> checking on my screen to see how much is visible. Right now I look absolutely crazy. I look as if I were three years old and I was playing with my mom's <laughs> makeup. But I like to do this and then I'm going to start blending it into the cheeks and bringing the product up. This is not going to work. If you are very oily, this is just for having a little bit of fun and playing with concepts outside of my comfort zone. And it probably won't work right now because we'll all have to wear masks for the time being. But, you know, it's here for future reference. I'm going to take my sponge, just cleaning it underneath here, making sure it's focused. And there you are. And I don't know if I should do the same on the eyes or play with another colour. I'm torn. We'll get back to you on that. Now I'm just amping up the colour and blending it out. Take your time or just dab it with the fingers and go on with your life. I don't usually go this high. I'm going to go around a little bit around the eye. 
bring in a little bit of this colour across the nose. Ugh, this foundation is breaking apart on my nose. I'm not gonna insist on this area here or else I'll... Ugh, it already looks too breaking apart. Oh well. But I'm going to bring it a little bit over here and over here. My cheeks look really glossy, which I quite like. To be honest, my first plan was to just leave it as is, clump my lashes with mascara, and there you go, that's your look. But because I'm in a playful mood, I decided to bring out a little bit more colour, and I always think that orange and this kind of pink work really well. So probably this colour has been discontinued because it's Colourpop and they they discontinue stuff, that's what they do. They do. But they'll probably have something similar to this, to this, or you can find one colour similar to this in your stash, hopefully. This is Bum Bubble Bee? Yeah, Bubble Bee by Colourpop, and it's an iridescent kind of orange, a bright orange, and I think this will look really nicely with this um, lip. And I'm just going to pat it on the outer corner of the eye, just like so. Can you see how it makes a huge difference? Just middle section to the outer corner of the eye. Small blending brush. It has to be small for me because I have the tiniest eyes. And I'm just making sure there are no harsher edges, although with Super Shock shadows and your finger, usually nothing is harsh. So there you go. <laughs> But this makes just a, the most beautiful golden orangey colour on your eyes. And I, I, I like to leave the inner area bare. And then when I blend, I'll just take what the brush eventually catches on. I'll take it in so that it has sort of a fade. But I'm always blending that way. Make it really rough, you know, really casual, intensified if you like, if you don't, keep it soft. And to be honest, I like this look without mascara. Pick an orange, any orange, and you can do something like this, I think. I'm going to take a little bit of powder, Laura Mercier is the one I've been using and loving actually, I haven't used this in years, and I don't know if they've reformulated or if my skin has changed, it used to be an okay powder, really good powder, now I absolutely adore it, <laughs> uh, I feel it mattifies without making things look cakey, uh, especially on my type of skin which is really... It's not getting any younger, let's say that. That's really interesting. And I'm kind of mattifying the lower area of my face just because it's me and I know I'll keep touching the jaw line. Maybe I'll go in with a little bit more highlighter on the forehead. You need to be careful with this because it may break down what you already have. If you have a mattifying foundation or something with a powder, it can start to break down uh, the product. So make sure you apply this after. If you're applying this after foundation, you apply it before it sets um, and before you powder. It, it, it's really random. Sometimes it, it goes well over powder, especially on this area here. I don't feel it lifts, but on other areas, I don't know if they're drier or anything. It doesn't hold it that well. I'm still indecisive whether to apply mascara or not. I like this so much as it is. I'm gonna go with tight lining with a brown eyeliner. Marc Jacobs Earthquake as usual. Just the top. I want the lower waterline to be completely 
free of product and I'm still undecisive because this has given me a bit more definition to the eyes but hey let's play so you can stay as is or you can uh, douse yourself in mascara as I think most people would I'll build it up and see where I want to stop just cleaning everything up because I'm using again the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Paradise Ecstatic Mascara and this is a clumpy mofo. Yeah, I would prefer it without the mascara C. Too late for that, so let's go to plan B which is loading myself with mascara. Gonna take the Clinique Lash Power because this one is a tubing mascara and it won't budge even when my lower lash line starts getting a bit oily. I've noticed that I haven't applied mascara in the lower lashes so today I decided to make things a bit different. It makes me look a bit dated. I don't know, some people can pull it off, some people cannot brows because last time yes i know i forgot my brows essence micro precise eyebrow pencil teeny tiny teeny tiny so good oh can't wait can't wait yeah i can wait because i don't want people to get infected but on the same time i'm afraid this will run out and i won't be able to buy it because the pharmacies that have essence uh, they don't all have the full collection, their websites are crap, so yeah, first of all problems, but just blending this in, boop, 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 boop. a little bit of brow mascara, just for shits and giggles, this is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, don't love the applicator, it's too big, at least for my face, and I don't think this has a lot of colour, nor a lot of hold. I want to try out the Anastasia one because it looks like it's really quite heavy and I like that. Just making the brows a bit more bushy. I haven't trimmed them in a while. Please excuse the lockdown lack of maintenance. And I think I'm done. So yeah, I think this is a very fresh, springy look. Um, I think you can replicate it with any colour you'd like, but I love the conjunction of orange and pink. I love the mixing of a cream highlighter or a liquid highlighter and a lipstick and get a, a very glossy blush. This is not set at all. Keep that in mind when you bring out the mixologist in you. And I like how kind of unmade it is because it's really easy to go in with your fingers on your lips on your cheeks and then on your eyes so it's very laid back i hope you have enjoyed it too i hope you are hanging in there and uh please subscribe or consider subscribing and leave me leaving me a like and comments down below keep in touch i miss you guys and thank you for spending your time on me and i'll see you on my next video bye